roaming is a very important role to know in Mobile Legends. The decision-making and rotation of a roamer can greatly impact the outcome of the match. Roaming heroes have different roles. You can use tanks, assassins, fighters, and supports as your roamers. Each role requires different gameplay and playstyles. So in this guide, I will show you how to effectively use support heroes as your roamer. We will discuss the positioning, rotation, and proper timing of the use of their skill. So without further ado, let's get right to it. First, we take a look at some popular support heroes that are very good to use in roaming. We have tank support heroes like Minotaur, Lolita, and Johnson. They play the same way tanks are used. We also have support fighter like Kaja, and supporting healing heroes like Rafaela, Estes, Diggy, and others is the most popular choice in roaming. They are very popular in high ranks in tournaments. That's why we will focus on how to use this hero as a roamer, their proper positioning, rotation, and skill timing to effectively help your team win. This is probably the most important part of your gameplay. You need to have proper positioning to utilize how a support actually works. Think of the word support. It means supporting something. So in your case, you need to support your teammates. Stick to your ally. Don't go solo in any part of the map. Keep close to your team because that's what support needs to do. Don't go alone in the bush. These heroes are not tanky, so it's easier to eliminate them. When team fighting, let a tanky ally go in front, then position yourself in a place where you can support your team while not being hit by the enemy. Map awareness is a very important skill to have as a roamer. You should know everything that is happening on the map. Check the map every time, so you can rotate to your team, react faster, and help your team win a team fight or get an objective. It will also help you to have better positioning. I'll give you an example on having a map awareness. Here I'm using Angela, and I positioning myself in a safe place and checking the map for a possible clash. When I see Zilong on the map, I immediately rotate to his target, which is Carrie, and get our team the advantage. Map awareness is very important to have in any role. It will help you to make better decisions, avoid irrelevant risks, and coordinate with your team. Skill timing is a vital skill that some players are missing. Timing your skill on when to use it will put your team in a good position. It will have a huge effect on team fights and will make the clash in favor of your team. Don't just use your skill all at once. Learn to time it. Some enemies will make you bait to use it, so they will have an advantage. But don't be that guy who can easily be tricked by the enemy. Use your skill properly and use it at the right time. In the early game, your main goal is to make your team get their gold. Make sure to avoid an early invasion by poking the enemy or helping your jungler secure the buffs faster. Also, you need to avoid early ganks to your side lanes. Don't go inside the bush for bush checking. Instead, use your skills. If your teammate will engage, make sure to rotate and respond faster. It will give them support for what they want to do. When Turtle is up, make sure to be present. At this times, the first clash usually took place, so you need to be present to support your team. Make sure to be aware of your positioning and timing the use of your skill so that the outcome is in your favor. Your main goal in early game is to make your team stronger. Make sure they get gold. Poke the enemy. Don't let your ally heroes to be killed. And counter the enemy attack with your skills. In mid-game, whatever team has a good early game, they will also have a good mid-game. That is why winning the early game is very important to control the match. So in mid-game, you need to go to your jungler or gold laner. Make sure to support them. Use your map awareness to decide which lane you should take. Stick to your team all the time. Don't go solo in any lane. Be aware of the map. Don't make mistakes along the way to keep your team ahead of the match. The late game is when whatever team has more discipline and does not make mistakes will probably win the game. So stick to your ally and make them get an objective like a turret, or win some team fights first to get a tower or get the lord. 
Use your skills to bush check. Don't be killed by the enemy. Having a great position in team fights while timing the use of the skill will help your team win the fight and achieve victory. Victory! And that's all you need to know to dominate a support roamer. As we wrap up this rotation guide, remember, perfecting your rotations and skills takes practice. If you have any questions or want to share your own tips, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more guides and stay ahead of the game. Thanks for watching. See you on my next video.